What's up guys and welcome to Supercars of London. How are you guys doing and hopefully you've been enjoying the Christmas and New Year break. Over the last year I have spent so much time down here at SB Race Engineering and these guys are absolutely amazing. They've massively helped out with my Lamborghini and this video is going to run down the top 10 supercars that I have spotted this year. So I've been lucky enough to be a part of so many different trips this year and seen some amazing cars. So this is going to count down some of the coolest cars that I've seen this year. Number 10, and we're going to start things off with a bang. Quite literally, here we have a Capristo Lamborghini Aventador revving off with a Capristo Ferrari 430 Scuderia and a bunch of other supercars we take to the Monaco supercar tunnels. So this has been one of my best experiences with supercars this year. Epic convoy through the Monaco tunnels with some insanely loud supercars. And this event had all just flamed consistently. It was unbelievable. Not only did we go through the tunnels, but we also went up into the mountain hills, which you will, would have seen because it is one of my most favorite videos of all time. Number nine on the list is a couple of Koenigs eggs that were cruising around oh Monaco during the Grand Prix. And as you can see, I got quite excited here at the Koenigs egg. Aguera this X. Is this is actually driven by Adrian Sito at this point, which is pretty cool. Driving around near Casino Square and then eventually parking up next to a CCXR full carbon edition. If I'm correct, please correct me if I am wrong in the comment box below. But it is absolutely stunning. And then this is with the chaos that incurred at the Monaco Casino Square when Adrian Suttle decided to park next to the other Koenigsegg that was parked outside the casino. Number eight is again at the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix weekend, which was absolute so supercar heaven. And here mission. I am vlogging <laughs> so in a I'm white vlogging. shirt. <laughs> I felt like I had to dress up for the Monaco Formula One Grand Prix. And there were literally Ferraris everywhere. There was a 458 yeah, California. California right there. Bloody hell. Another California. And then there we have it. Number eight is the white Ferrari La Ferrari. The Ferrari, the Ferrari. Absolutely stunning. Never seen one in white and still have not seen a single one since this car on Italian plates and holding up all of the traffic at the Fairmont hairpin corner. Deciding whether or not to go into the hotel and do the valet parking, which he eventually did decide to do. Number seven isn't exactly a legit car spot. As you can see, I am here in Detroit for the North American Motor Show and at the Ford Press Conference. And the reason why this makes it in so highly is what a special trip this was to be in Detroit, but then to be there in person when they announced the new 2017 Ford GT. I had no idea about this car. They had completely talked it off during this press conference, hadn't mentioned a single thing about the next supercar that was coming from Ford until they said, we've got one more thing to show you. And then at this moment in time, I think my palms started to get a little bit sweaty. I had no idea what this car was going to look like. I love the old Ford GT and all of this stuff here really excited me and I just could not believe that I was actually here. And when I started seeing glimpses of the Ford GT, I started to get really nervous here. And here we go. This is the first time the world saw the brand new Ford GT. <laughs> oh my God, is it a stunning car. The dimensions are unbelievable. It shouldn't be a car. It should be like a rocket or something. The way this car looks in person, it is so wide. It is so low. If there was one car that I'd love to own in the next two to three years, it is this car.
And, <laughs> as you can see, the crowd loved it. Look at it. I just, I still can't get over it, and I can imagine that that car in satin black will be the most stealth-looking Batmobile-esque car ever, and really, really great footage from me there. Great filming. I think I was probably trying to take a picture at the same time to try and get that snapshot online. Look at those exhaust tips. I mean, that is fighter jet stuff, and it matches the rear tail lights as well. Stunning car. Let me know your thoughts on the new 2017 Ford GT. Have you seen one? What color have you seen it in? Because I know that there's a few floating about now, but I have to say that is one of my favorite cars at the moment. I need to learn on getting the whole car in the frame. <laughs> Number six is at SB Race Engineering when they built this car. The first Liberty Walk Lamborghini Aventador in Europe. SB Race Engineering spent about three months building this car. And I have to say, it is one of the craziest cars that I've seen. And, uh, <laughs> and been in, actually. I actually got a ride in this car. But just listen to this. And then this, and then watch the flames. Number five, and this included many, many miles ran during oh. July in the heat of the summer in the UK, which probably dips around 28 to 30 degrees. And I got a call to say that there was a Pagani Zonda Cinque Roadster like just this right around the corner. Oh my God. I ran from Park Lane down into Knightsbridge, which for those that know, is quite a long run. And I had a gilet on, which is a body warmer, sleeveless hoodie sort of thing. And um, I'm filming the floor at the moment, but there it is. One of my all time favorite cars. remember filming this car, not this specific car, but a Zonda Cinque Rosa just power sliding in central London, which is probably one of my greatest memories of car spotting. But that is a proper race car for the road. I love it and I think that would be in my dream top five garage. I think I've mentioned that quite a lot in a few Q&As, but what an awesome car. Number four, and we move back to Monaco, just um, after the top marks. Monaco, and we uh, listen to me here, Blue P1, really enthusiastic. Back Thursday, up in the <laughs> Talking about Monaco, Lewis Hamilton, we found McLaren, out was P1. A McLaren um, worker fueling the car, ready for a handover, which was supposed to be happening today. No one expected it. It turns out to be Lewis Hamilton. So otherwise I haven't got very good zoom. <laughs> and there we go, classic one. editing. Um, but this actually is Lewis Hamilton's yeah. McLaren P1 and we were lucky enough to see it get delivered. We saw him briefly, which you'll see in the next clip. The annoying thing was I actually was only filming on my iPhone today because I didn't think we'd see anything. But there is Lewis Hamilton on full iPhone zoom in the blue, matching his McLaren P1, which is very similar to what Shmi150 does with his MSO Cerulean Blue. 675LT. And here it is coming out. It is the most stunning colour I've seen on a McLaren P1. It's just a shame that he left in electric mode and it sounded like a golf cart. That isn't Lewis Hamilton picking it up. He actually left and went back to his apartment, which is just down the road from here, and then got one of the McLarens to uh, deliver it. Number three, and we have got a Mansory Bugatti Veyron Viver, or Viveri, I'm not particularly sure how you pronounce it, but we were on a hunt. We saw it. Yes, we found it. And this is the moment that we found it. What an absolute animal. And we were so lucky. We arrived two minutes before the owner came out, got in the car, and started. Up. It sounds amazing with the Mansory exhaust system. Get the old active spoiler going, but look at it. Stunning car. Truly honoured to see that car this summer in London. Beautiful, beautiful specification. The carbon fibre weave is incredible. And there's Stefan crossing the road and getting in my shop. <laughs> Number two, and we move to this car, the Ladies MSO Glow-in-the-Dark McLaren P1. 
P1. I spent 24 to 48 hours trying to hunt this car down and then finally it parked up and this is my excitement. This looks like a race car. Oh my God. Christ. So this car was around for a couple of days in the summer and has only been seen since a couple of times. I have to say I'm not the greatest fan of the paint job, but it is just utterly, utterly crazy and super rare. McLaren launched it across their social media and um, there we go. That is it. I actually waited about six hours for it to start up and it never did. It was here all afternoon and all evening and as you can see the light begins to fade i just zoom in to try and get some more shots of the car cars driving past all of the time and here we go this is it at night time and you can see that it kind of glows in the dark which is pretty cool and finally number one on the top 10 supercar spotted a 2015 of course is the lamborghini veneno that myself sam and seb saw in Dusseldorf, Lamborghini Dusseldorf, Venino Roadster. I still can't believe that I saw this car. And the crazy thing is, this is a 3.5 million pound car and that woman in the pink tracksuit is going to guide this man onto the truck. I think she was his wife. They were van drivers or couriers or delivery service and have turned up to this job, I can imagine not expecting to actually put this car onto the truck. It was one of the most nerve wracking moments. And here you go, here's a couple of the salesmen trying to help get this car on, bearing in mind the value and also the rarity of this car. And there she is, she's got two handbags. <laughs> And there she is trying to guide him back on. There's Seb's reaction. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. Look how close it is. This car does not have nose lift. There goes the wooden plank into the side skirt, which I've just filmed there. They had to reverse back, do it again, and try and squeeze this car on. It is basically an Aventador Roadster with a massive wide body kit, and it looks utterly crazy. It is a spaceship for the road. It's not a race car for the road. It is a spaceship for the road. The rear on the car. Oh. The wingmills have gone. I literally just said it was like a spaceship for the road. I told them the wingmills had to go in, which they did, and there we go. It is in. And the salesman starts clapping and praying. <laughs> so there we have it. The top 10 supercars of 2015. Has now had a modification. And I've waited ages for it. DMC sent this wing before I went to Dubai. It arrived whilst I was in Dubai, um, and thankfully, SB Race Engineering have given me a little Christmas present and managed to slot me in, fit me in, and the wing has been fitted to my car. There's gonna be a full video of the fitment that is gonna be coming over the next couple of days. Barry at SB Race Engineering fitted it.